So this is what we have so far, right? Is it here? Schnitzel live, right? And so essentially I want to do this. I want to say display name equals and then bloom equals window x equals window y equals options equals so essentially this and then for the display name that's going to be a string that is going to be a point two float or point one float even a percentage d percentage d oops and a percentage d this is the config template at the moment no comments at all maybe a comment at the top right that says colon comments on the same line don't work like this that's the idea and then if someone changes the config any the comments if someone writes a comment into the config any like here test that will be deleted because I'm not storing that. I'm just storing the options. So if you write a comment in the config any for yourself, I will override it. Is that bad? Maybe, but that's how it is right now. Good day. Nice to catch a stream again. Still not finished with Dark Swords. How many devs are we at? No, we just had it on stream. Like two, like three something. 3.30. I'm not dying much anymore. 3.50. I died a lot trying to uh, get the tail of the dragon boss yesterday, which turned out to be a an obsidian greatsword. CDXX0, hello there, man. So, and then essentially what we do is we get a, a config file that is like this, a format text. It takes in the config template and then the arguments. Right, and so we'll supply the game options dot display name game options dot uh, bloom game options window X <coughs> excuse me window Y and the options itself and so that's all now that we have the text we need to if file exists conf config.ini then we delete the file oops and then we write file config.ini no not in it and not in it hey config file and then it also takes in the do we need to write something what do we need to write a file i thought we just need a a buffer we need to open then we write F close. Why do we need a buffer? Also, oh, that's the buffer and then the size, right? Right file. Okay. So we need to know how long the file is. Fine. I can determine that myself, actually, but okay. String length from the config file. There we go. That's the idea. That is essentially it. CDXX0, why is that sus? Sturdy post. Cakes, I have something for you to test. Yeah, I will test something in a second. Now, the only thing... I just want to finish this really quickly so that we have the config file being read and then being saved again, right? So, save any. Now, we have to figure out um, where to put this code. 
Where do I put this? Right, and the game options. Where's that defined? I think it's defined in the schnitzel lip. I think that's wrong. However, it is the overarching options of everything, I guess. Just make sure you ask me after you've done so I can give you something to test. Sure. Road to Vostok is a pretty impressive game being made with Godot, but I've never used the engine myself. Yeah, there's many quite impressive games made with Godot, you know, and the biggest one of them, in my opinion, is Brotato. Massively successful. The graphics is not really mine, but it really, really doesn't matter for most of us, right? It probably wouldn't matter for me if I just played the game. Have you seen Road to Vostok? No, I've not. I don't know what type of game it is. Sounds like an RPG game to me, but I could be wrong. Well, I was wondering why, like, it like it hurt. Someone was cleaning the window. It's like the cable scratching on my pullover. <laughs> what the fuck? I got so distracted by that. So where do we save this? Hmm. The save config. I don't... I think it's game re game related. But even then, this is also related just to the game. It depends on the game. It's really difficult to have to put the config stuff. Right? Because the game needs to read this. I need to have this somewhere allocated. The engine itself needs to read it. An FPS shooter kind of game like Tarkov. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, then it's, it's probably the reason why I don't know it. It's because I'm not really interested in shooters. I've never played many shooters in my life. I've always been the big RPG nerd, right? Go back in time, you know, fight with sword and shield. That's... Bro Trader, that's not true. There's an even better card called uh, Why Don't Ya? Mm. Is it better though? Does it have more reviews, more money earned, more player base over time? Me neither. It's just impressive that they're making it in Godot. Yeah, I wish them good luck, man. I hope that they can pull it off. Because there is quite a few annoyances in Godot, but I guess if you're getting really proficient at the engine, you will just be able to, to work around those or have fixes for them all, right? What a good... There's a quick... Yeah, you can you can link this in a second. I just want to finish this really quickly because then we have everything we need, you know? <clears throat> hmm. I just don't know where to put this. This is in a library that helps me develop my game. Stride, this is a struct that is options for the entire game. Right, for example, which display name we have, the bloom strength. This is essentially VSync. This is platform stuff. But the game needs to read it. Because I need to know whether I need to show tooltips or not. And this should be a global option, right? That's a global option. Or show hints. Auto start next round. That's a global option that is not... An option between safe games, I think. I think. I think. I just want to be able to sort this properly. Maybe I need to disconnect the game options, like show hitboxes, show tooltips, from the actual like platform options, engine options. Because an engine option is, okay, which display do we uh, play the game on? Uh, how much bloom do we have? How big is the window? Do we have VSync on or not? 
Do we show FPS? All of this stuff is engine specific and it doesn't have anything to do with the game. However, this is something that has to do with the game. Advanced tool tips. Hey, the next round has something to do with the game. Uh, tool tips in general. I don't know why that is even there because advanced tool tips. Stop! So, and then hitboxes. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe I need to like disconnect this and then have this between save games. Because this is just related to the game. The game doesn't need to read whether we have Vsync or not. The game shouldn't be able to change that. But if I display options in the game, I need to be able to read this Vsync bit. So for example, I'll show you what my problem is right now. I'll show you. So, essentially, if I'm in the game and I click this button here, I should be able to change. Well, maybe not here, right? Maybe not while I'm... But maybe yes, right? I should be able to change the volume. Right? I should be able to change that. Right? I should also be able to change the sound of sound effects, how loud they are. I should be able to change the bloom stuff. This is engine stuff, right? And then over here we have options that are only specific to the game, but they're all together. Please have tabs like audio, graphics, sound, settings. Well, I can do tabs later, bro. At the moment it doesn't really matter, right? At the moment, really it doesn't matter. <laughs> Please have tabs like mp3. Um, right now, I just need to be able to display the options and then later on we can have tabs, whatever. This really isn't a big deal at the moment. It's just some options, right? I need to finish the settings first. I need to finish basically organizing where I put the data and how I distribute the data, let's say, to the game. It's basically organizing essentially are you gonna use z after this uh, after it's no longer built from source for windows z what is z i have no idea what that is bro uh shiba you might have to explain it tika we can't do quality of life stuff when there's nothing to add quality of life to true yeah vs code 2 z these nuts vs code for mac nah bro i'm good listen listen like yeah, I've done that in the past. Do you work or just live on donation money for the game? I do work too, yes. I have to work today. After the stream. I do work, yes. <clears throat> uh, it's not enough uh, at the moment to sustain myself. Written in Rust. <laughs> Z the VS Code killer written in Rust. I Somehow I doubt that, man. Uh, maybe it's better in Rust. But uh, I have a feeling that... Yeah, VS Code is way better. Yeah, nah, Z is only good if you want to quickly edit some text files. He's a consultant. Yeah, also some other stuff, yeah. But... Yeah, I do some, I do some other stuff ne near, uh, next to this. In addition to this. Um, listen, maybe I'm thinking, maybe I'm overthinking it. I just need to be able to read the options and that's it. So essentially, I define the options here. Which means they are not passed anywhere. Which is bad. So I need to be able to... Let's, I guess, delete the config file that we created earlier. delete hmm so these are the default options and then over here we set the options from the file <coughs> bro it is 6 a.m in us no wonder i missed the streams happy they are vods oh you're watching the vods uh on which youtube channel are you watching them bro hello there i'm too lazy good morning do you have a holiday today is it holiday today for you guys <coughs> I'm just interested because I literally got like 70 subs on in like three days on that dev channel 
where I just post the vaults of this. I'm just curious. So it was like multiple thousands of views for just the vaults, which was insane. So I thought, hmm, maybe it's from there. Okay, streams only in the mornings. I don't know why. I stream in the mornings because I have stuff to do in the evenings. That's why. I'm not alone. I watch the dev channel once in a while. Hey, that's cool. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, I have a couple more videos planned. I just need the time to edit, not edit them, uh, upload them and uh, put some thumbnails on. Which I'll hopefully be able to do on Sunday. I usually do this like once a week. Okay, let's see here. I, I hate it when I can't decide, you know. So this is loading in the main file. Then we have the options here. And we supply the options to the game using a pointer. And I guess the render data... <clears throat> I'm changing them in the game. I'm changing the options in the game. And then I suppose before we render, we just set it here. Uh, where is it? GL render. Music volume is options.music volume. Oh, I don't have music volume yet. Okay. Great. Music volume here. Let's see. Yes. What is that? It divides it by 100. So the volume is between 0 and 100. I would say, which means. In the schnitzel lib, we also have a float music volume is one. And then a float SFX volume is one. There we go. And then uh, where do I save that again? Shit. <coughs> save. Ini. Over here. Music volume equals percentage point one F and then SFX volume equals percentage point one F. Now that we have that, we can music volume is options dot music volume divided by 100 and then sfx do i have sfx yeah we have is options dot music no sfx volume divided by 100 and then basically this is set the options from the config right this is setting it every frame okay so essentially we are setting the options from the config that also includes the render data Um, bloom strength to the options dot bloom um, I hate this you know is it bloom strength it's so slow here yeah it is so what else do we need the window size is something that I used to start the game with. I don't think I want to change it. Like, I'm going to ignore this for now. This is going to be ignored. And then we need to somehow change the options here. These options. These are very important. <clears throat> yeah, about VSync, for example, right? GL render. What about ViewSync? I don't have it here. Do I not have ViewSync on? I think I do, right? Let me check something. Main menu. I do have ViewSync on. Now, how much FPS do I have? Show FPS counter. Does it even show? Oh, no! 
Okay, so V-Sync doesn't do anything. I get it now. Okay, so I have to... Um, how do I even put on V-Sync? How is V-Sync even put on in OpenGL? Wonder. Let's Google this. It's been a while. Does anyone of you know how to do VSync and OpenGL? GL enable VSync. GL enable GL VSync. How to enable VSync and OpenGL? GL enable VSync. There's no such thing as GL VSync or anything. Windows GL swap interval extension. On Windows, there is an OpenGL extension method. Windows GL swap interval extension from the post by blah blah blah. If you're working on Windows, you have the extension to use. You have to use the extension to use the swap interval extension function. It's defined in yes. You will also want to download the yes I have in Windows GL extension file. Entry points for Windows specific extensions are declared, such as function start with prefix Windows GL. To get more info, yeah. Okay, I don't give a shit. How do I turn it on? Holy fucking hell, man. How do you turn it on? Specify the minimum number of frames before each swap above. Okay. Oh, wait. He uses Windows API. GL enable, GL VSync is GLFW, I think. Just make a Boolean called VSync and set it to true. Did you ever hear of WebGPU? Yeah, I heard about it. Let me check something really quickly. Okay. He, he's that base that he uses the stupid API. Extension name, Windows Jail, get extension. Oh God. Oh my God. To initialize your function pointers. This go, guy goes into detail. Holy shit. And now. Windows GL swap interval extension 1 to disable wait I think I do have this I actually have this platform set vsync true all right now I probably can't do this every frame right I can probably if I do this every frame then uh the game lags, right? Let's just try that. How do I, how do I write this? VSync. Oh. Options, options, and... Uh, option underscore VSync. There we go. If we have the VSync option turned on, basically this. I'm pretty sure you can't do this every frame. I love the GLFW callback system. I can do the same thing. It's fine. I can mimic the same thing. It's okay. Um, I just need to test whether this actually does something. Also, when it's supposed to display the FPS, right? Where is it doing that? Is it doing it in the game? <clears throat> game? Where is that? Huh? Eh? There we go, in the game. It's doing it in the game. Okay. If we show the FPS, then I want to draw a UI test. Um, let's put it on 10. There we go. Use GLFW swap interval extension to set the swap interval for the current OpenGL context. The swap interval of 1 means that the buffer swap will wait for once the vertical refresh. Enabling VSync. Yeah. I remember that. I also remember having to code that in as well. Or VSync? You sure about that? So right now we have 600 FPS. 
doesn't actually do anything. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. Why? Oh, because I'm setting it to false. Lol. Every frame. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not every frame. I have no options, of course. There are no options because I don't change those options. All right, let me ch let me change that really quick. This play options over here. We are not changing the game state options anymore. These are gone. Where's that? <coughs> Close button. Game state toggle via. Music volume. Yeah, there we go. So, options. These. These are the wrong options. Hey. We want these options. And right now, I want to disable those. The game options that means i will get an error here these no longer exist that means that my save game is no longer compatible but we are deleting it anyway so that's fine bloom strength don't need to do that set bloom strength this is game state options bloom strength So double pointer in direction, yeah. Uh, music volume. Oh, set FSF. Okay, yeah. Uh, do we actually need to do this in the game? No. This is what the engine does for us. Don't need to do that anymore. And we also don't need to set the bloom. Where was that? There we go. The game is just initializing it. What is this? If we press the A key, option flags, okay. Options, options. Options, options. We toggle that. Um, this is basically a debug thing, so I'll probably have to do it to do. Debug. And what is that? Show FPS. There we go. So, it's options options if we show fps boom next what is that add option yeah wait let's see like this oh no uh, let's just do it like this fine Options, options, options. Uh, so that should fix this. I just want to be done with this, you know, guys. Default. Game start. Um, don't need that, actually. Because this is set outside the game. This has nothing to do with the game. <clears throat> okay. Man, look at me smashing the code today. It's crazy. Set. I can't just do this every frame. We don't need this. We don't need this, actually. I don't think we need this. Mm, options menu. Okay. Set music volume.
Uh, we're already setting it here, so we don't need to do that, actually. We don't need to do that. Save game should be save any. We need to save the ini file here instead of the game. Because the game is saved uh, some other place. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I think we can even do the value of options. Right? We can. Okay. Save game. Yeah, save any. Need to replace every save game here with save any. Options, bloom strength. There we go. That looks good. Show tooltips. Save any. Oh god, okay. Save any, save any. It's quite a few. Continue button, push modal. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Home button. All right. Uh, there's more though. Level state lost level. Okay. This. Um, save any. Here too. These are the two sliders for the volume. Cool. Awesome. W boss man. Nice. Let's build this. Very nice. Yeah, that was a quick little flow session. Mm, let's hope this works. Now I should have connected the options to the game. So if I change an option in the game, I think what happens now, I might get an issue. Actually, this is still false, so that should be fine. But if I display show FPS, where's that? FPS counter. It shows it here. Cool. So that works. And I think VSync breaks. It just works. I have a 60 hertz monitor. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, hello, Inuka. How come that voxel game had 12,000 FPS and you can't even have 1K in your main menu with a high-end high graphics card? Because this is a debug build, okay, bro? And his game literally had no game logic. It was just rendering, okay? If we take a look at just the rendering, I have like millions of FPS, okay? I have a very big PP. Today is the day. Yes, sir. It's Bok. Good morning. It's not the GPU. It's CPU bound. I have a lot of logic in the game that happens every frame. Cake says game logic in the main menu. No, but yes, I have Bloom and stuff happening too. So that is, we'll have to see. Listen, guys. 600 FPS is still fine. Okay, stop complaining. Okay, shut the fuck up. I don't know where it comes from, to be honest. <clears throat> but it comes from somewhere, 100%. Mm. Um, it just works, which is, I didn't expect that to just work. Basically, I'm already done for what I wanted to do today, lol. I just missed one thing from the main. We need to read. Where are the options defined? In the schnitzel lib. 
So I guess we can pass the options there. But I guess we'll do it here. Um, we also need to have two more fields. The music and sound effect volume. So over here. We want to clamp that, of course. Someone should not be able to do a minus here. And it should no, not be bigger than... One. We want to do that here too. Oh wait, SFX volume is actually the one below. Oh, sorry. And then we, over here, we want to have the music volume. Cool. Now we have music volume set and sound effect volume. Now I could add a break to each if check here. To make it a little bit more performant, but we really don't need that. Because it's literally just happening only once. And now I would like to see if it actually works. If that actually works, then we have completed any file passing, reflecting, setting, and saving. And if we don't have a config any, I, def I save default, save default config ini. If we don't have a config ini file, then we save the default one. Which means I should be able to just delete my config file right now. This one. Also, just one thing, really quickly. Display options. It's still saving the game. It's not saving the Unify. <coughs> Which is obviously wrong. Here, it's saving the game. It's wrong. have to change that here everywhere. That's why the ini file after I change the options still looks the same. Because it wasn't saved to the disk. Put it here. Here. And put it here. Put it here. Wow, that's a lot. But we have to put it everywhere where we save the game and save the info. file. There we go. Cool. Cakes, double check your audio setting stuff. Are you actually setting the volume still or did you delete it while it's adding save any? I am. I am. So what happens here now is the following. Um, where is the audio stuff? Here, I'm setting the SFX volume directly in the options, right? And in the main loop of the game, here, where the, you know, the render loop or the game loop happens, right here, while running, every time I go through this, I set these volumes. And I think that works. If update audio is not setting these sounds 
Uh, which maybe... Yeah, it does. It sets the volume based on these volumes whenever I start a new sound. Now, the only thing that is not changed is a currently running sound. Or maybe it does. Maybe it is. Uh, I think it's not, though. So I probably have to go through every voice. Uh, the voice is here. And then for every voice, I should set the volume. Uh, every frame. But it's it, maybe it's a bit much. We'll have to see. It probably won't work for already running sounds. Or playing sounds. Oh cool, look at this. Show tooltips is on. Then show FPS counter. There we go. Cool. And then uh, view sync off. We are at 600. 800. Cool. <clears throat> That's nice. So it looks like, and it, I think I can just delete this. And then take a look at the config ini that was created. Ah, it is here. <laughs> but I'm not doing a backslash N. Okay, so I have to delete the config file one more time. I forgot the backslash N when save, saving the knee. So for every single one of these, putting in a backslash N. <clears throat> there we go. That should work. <clears throat> GG cakes. Yeah, very nice. If you care about performance, you should start with if, else if, not break. I mean, we can also do else if, I guess. <clears throat> That's odd. Couldn't read any file. No data. Config any? Is it not supposed to write me a config any if I delete it? That's odd. Did it not write the file? I'm confused now. Looks like we are not done yet. I don't have a config any. So it, sh it should go here. Into this. It goes into this. And then, ah, oh, mem copy, of course. What is it doing here? Does this, formats the text. If the file exists, delete the file. Ah, I see. I get it now. So essentially we have to do, we have to always write the file, but we delete the file if it exists. There we go, cool. Does the safe expect it to exist already? Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, well, it does. Here, to delete it. But I should have had the right outside. It's a very simple mistake that happens all the time. Cool. Now we actually generate the config ini on startup. We should. There we go. Let's see. Nice. Oh, we don't have a display name yet. Yeah. And options... Wow, really? Are those the real options that I have? That's a little bit too much, is it? Also, this should be one, not zero. Let me check the options here. Yeah, they are one. One and that's 68. Eh? Oh, I'm not supplying them. Uh, guys, uh, this is very bad, right? Is there a way to get an error tossed if in the format string uh, there are too many handles and I don't fill in those options here? Is there a... like I I'm calling sprint F, essentially, right? Is there a way that sprint F gives me a problem no it's c++ it's dog shit 
Check if the argument is null pointer. Yeah, but I have these arcs. You C sharp? <laughs> fine, then it's fine. Like, if there's no way to do that easily, then maybe with a, with a static assert on compile, but what would we assert? Right? Like, how would I do that? And Dennis, board, thank you very much for following. Check the length of the length of the arcs. Compared to what? I don't know how many percentage things I have in here. That's the thing, you know. Oh, free time development. Hello there. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. Good morning, guys. You just joined into a, a config ini passing stream. Let's take a look. Now it should work. We have just generated. Awesome. We have just generated our own config ini. It looks like it puts a backslash n in here. I wonder if that still uh, passes it then correctly. We have... Wait, we have one field. It's not passing it correctly. It's not passing it correctly because it's backslash n. Hey. Hey. Defeated by simple text file. Shut the fuck up. Just a small raid. Need to go. Stream for just 15, 40 minutes. Wow, man. Thank you very much for the raid. Have a good day, bro. You have to define that then or count the number of new lines in the string. Working with text in C++, string formatting. Yeah, wait, it's, uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. I didn't expect this. Why though? That looks like a normal config any file to me. Right? Alright, let's see. We have data. Comments on the same line don't work. Backslash N. Alright, so... We have a comment and we wait until we reach a backslash n. At some point it should break. Don't work. Yeah, we're almost there. But we can also see it here. Exclamation mark, backslash n. Next character. We break. I was expecting that. Boom. And then we set the field name to the data, which is display name. Okay, boom. Now we have this break. Now we have the D and we add length to the name because that's the first character of the name. Display name. Let's see. Equals? Huh? Wait a minute. Why is there a backslash n? I see, so there's no... I supply an empty string. I supply an empty string. I get it now. Mm-hmm. Now we have an equals, we set it to data, which is just in backslash n. And then we try to find the backslash n and break. Already, boom. Then we go in here, we find another name. I see. A no terminated empty, it's an empty string. Because we don't have a display name. Because I don't have a value in the field. And that breaks it. Hmm.
I'm, ex I'm basically getting this letter out. Because I'm expecting backslash R to be here. And then I no longer get to the new line. And even then field value would be backslash N. Which I guess I would mem copy nothing here. Which would work. I just have to, I can't consume this backslash N here. I was expecting backslash R, it would work with backslash R, but it doesn't work with only backslash N. So if I find backslash N, I guess I have to do data minus minus and then break. Maybe that works. Let's see. We have to go back by one because we still have to read that. Let's see. Not like this. I want to, to see the past unifier. It has seven elements now. Display name, bloom, options value, music value, and then no options after that. Then if someone saves the file, for example a notepad, it will convert to backslash r backslash n and break your code. No, it won't. It won't. Look. Because backslash r will just be ignored. Watch. What is this? Yeah. So... Save. I just saved it, right? Let's start it again. And we can read the file here. Now it has... It still has backslash n. But what I can do is... For testing purposes, right? We can put... backslash r backslash n in here right just just for you know testing purposes hello there tiger tht long time no see hello cakes and chat hello there bro good morning uh, Abef, I still didn't uh, update the bot yet, but I got a prime sub today and no notification. Um, and I don't think the bot is writing a log. I wonder why. It's, it's not writing a log though, you know. Should I update it in a second? Alright, let's see. Passing the ini file. Still works. You see that? Now the only thing that might not work is the following. If I don't have an equal sign on the last. I wonder what happens then. On the last option. If there is, if it's left empty. I wonder what this does. If it only finds 6. It still finds 7. The value is nothing. Okay, so I guess it works. Okay. Cool. But I'm gonna remove the backslash R here. So yeah, we made it a little bit more robust to changes. Now obviously it's still not perfect, right? <coughs> but at least it should work now. Yeah, but your streaming times are the same time when I'm at work. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it wasn't meant to, like, make you feel bad. Just happy that you're here, bro. It would be nice of you, or you could forget about it like you forgot about the read thing he wanted. <sighs> I'm not done yet. So, I didn't forget about it. I'm just not done yet, okay? You toxic asshole. What a fucking toxic person.
There we go. Else if. Made it a little bit more performant. What is that? That's not supposed to be in here. If you've ever considered using SCD format instead of programming like Caveman. Have you ever considered using a library? Shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay, I'm getting to the goal anyways. Okay, it's just an hour and I have config any reading and saving. Bitch. Huh? And changing values in there. Watch. Vsync off. I don't have the FPS. Show FPS counter. Close the game. Start the game. It's still something in the code that's not working. Wait. Wait. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> guys, guys. It's one option that I didn't do yet. Okay. Tooltips. Start round. FPS. Enough, okay. Options 100. One hundred. Hey. <gasps> it never goes in there. It never goes in there. Hey, why? Seven fields. Options. Huh? Does it actually... Guys, is string string not... Wait, it finds that. Oh, break. I see now. It's the break thing. I get it. Break breaks out of... Whoops. It's supposed to say continue, not break. Okay. Okay. That was a little, yeah, it was a little issue. Mm -hmm. If you use the actual C++ standard function, we would already be playing Dark Souls. Yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> now watch this. It will work. I, I don't even have to test. It will just work. See that? Works. FPS counter out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Auto start rounds and then advanced tooltips. You can see that actually. 
Watch this. Let me turn this off. Oh, I'm still in the way. But essentially... Oh, oh yeah, in the volume. Oh. It works. Close. Check the config any. Look at these values. Aha, so there's still an issue with those. Um, I see. So I because I clamp them when I load. They need to be clamped from 0 to 100. No, no, we have to clamp. I forgot to clamp these properly. And we could we should also clamp here. Window X. Um oof. Um 720. So wait, we have 10 1080? No, wait. Uh, 1920 divided by 2 is 960. Is that it? No, wait. Reloaded? Yeah. Wait, I need a calculator. We have 1080, right? Minus 720. 360. Plus 360. 720 plus 360 okay so divided by 3 so if we take 10 no 1920 and divide that by 3 we get 640 plus 640 is 1280 okay yeah that's all i needed uh 1280 all right is the minimum and the maximum is 1920 for now for x Good luck, Cakes and Dark Souls. Thank you, Hope T. And thank you very much for following, GBC. <clears throat> oh, we got another uh, long live uh, Chao. Twitch Gamal. I want to ban him. Did we ban him already? Nice. Oh, excuse me. Okay, cool. Now we actually have proper any passing and saving. Saving. So that means I can now finally change the options of my game in and outside of the game. And a normal person will be able to do that too. And if they put in some weird ass values, I will clamp them to the correct values so they can't destroy the, uh, the ini file. He wouldn't get banned if it was Long Live Scotland. <laughs> there we go. Cool. And Vsync also works now, which is really nice. We can show the FPS counter. Mm -hmm. And we have successfully disconnected the game options uh, from the game. And the next thing that I would like to do, uh, maybe we'll get to it today, is choose a display. But I think that will take... That will take a little bit more time and I have to think about it off stream on how to properly achieve that. I mean, we already enumer enumerate the displays, right? Uh, we will be able to store that somewhere. And then I have to, like, have... Like an array of uh, those. Drop-down menu? Yeah. Is it drop-down menu? Should be like a drop-down menu, right? And uh, with a drop-down menu displaying the options and... Uh, in the middle displaying what we have chosen two days to save and load seven lines from a text file you're wrong we're also passing the file properly so shut the fuck up maybe list of check marks now obviously we need to <laughs> change the the window let's try to change that really quickly and also like it's so big can I change the font? Do I have the font here somewhere? No. I would like the font to be smaller. And where is it drawing the screen? The background. Origin. Options origin. Do we have a... 
Origin. Okay. Window size, option size divided by two. I see. Hmm. So options middle would be the window size X divided by two, I guess. And then basically the world size divided by two in the middle, right? Something like this. Then I guess we can display that here. Let's test. It's not gonna be perfect. Yeah, okay, so the window at least is here now. 